Hello sports fans, ASMR Sports here. I've just got some uh, sugar-free Orbit gum in here. And uh, today we're going to do a little bit of a mixed bag. Um, somebody, I believe, requested uh, in a comment some racing cards. And uh, this box I've had for a while now, kind of sitting in my my piles of stuff I've picked up over the years um, and I haven't gotten around to doing anything with it. I don't really know much <coughs> excuse me about this product. Um, it's called Victory Lane. It's from Panini. It's from 2018. It looks like it's got some pretty good stuff. It's got two autographs and two memorabilia cards. So that's pretty sweet. There's um, 10 cards per pack and four packs per box. So, looks like there's gonna be a one hit per pack. Um, let's see, Octane autographs deliver on card signatures from the sports top drivers. So, yeah, I don't know. That's got some cool stuff in it. Um, I'm not gonna probably recognize, well, I might recognize some of the drivers. Um, and then I also uh, thought I'd throw in a couple of baseball things. These are just one pack or one uh, card products, so they'll be quick, quick and easy. Um, all right, I gotta get a cutting implement. One moment, please. Gold there. 
Okay, no more numbering. Oh, well, that's a nice Kevin Harvick, though. Not numbered. It's like a, maybe a copper or something. Paul Menard. That's interesting because he's sponsored by Menards. Is he related to the guy that owns Menards? Menards is big around where I am in the Midwest. They're like, I don't know if, probably people who are on the coast have never heard of Menards, but it's like a, you know, it's like a Home Depot or like a Lowe's kind of store, but it's been around like forever in the Midwest. And then uh, Martin Truex Jr. Well, there's one pack down, one auto down. Let me see if I can. So, I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell. Like, these feel a little bit thicker than this, but they all actually kind of feel thick. So I, I wonder if I have two memorabilia cards and one memorabilia auto card. If I have three thick packs here. Um, we'll find out. There's one of our memorabilia cards. All right, past winners, 2014 Pocono 400, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Joey Logano, another Dale Earnhardt Jr., 2015 Quicken Loans Race for Heroes 500. All right, there's Kurt, Kurt Busch, Battle to the Metal subset, Martin Truex Jr. All right, what do we got here? Another young-looking cat. John Hunter Nemechek. That's kind of cool. There's two things. That, I don't know what that is. It looked like, I thought it might be like rubber from a tire, but it's very smooth. So, and that's like cloth from something. I feel like these race jackets would not be made of this stuff, but maybe some part of it is. And that's number two. 190. John Hunter Nemechek. All right, so there's one of our one of our um, memorabilia cards. Martin Truex Jr. I feel like we're getting a lot of guys, just a ton of cards of them. Like Dale Earnhardt, we got a ton of cards. Martin Truex, we got a bunch of cards. Um, Kevin Harvick, we got a bunch of cards. So. Um, I'm kind of waiting to get base cards of our hits so I can read about them, but I don't think we have gotten any. So again, I f it feels like it feels like there's all like the cards in all these remaining packs. So, yeah, there's a thick card in there. So we'll see what that is all about. Jimmy Johnson. Another Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, there's just a lot of like <laughs> of the same guys popping up. Pedal to the metal. Who's this guy? Al Almendinger. Or AJ Almendinger, I guess. Sorry. Oh, there's a nice numbered card. Number to 99, Denny Hamlin. Race day. Oh, and then that keeps happening. We get like one, we get two cards of the same guy. Race ready, so that looks like it's rubber, like a tire or something. And that's, I don't know what, again, it feels like soft, but like not like that jacket looks, but. Um, so let's see what it says about, so uh, this doesn't say anything about him on that card, but on the back of this one, it says something. Let's read that. Denny Hamlin spends many days at the office, only his desk is a dashboard. His phone is a helmet imps headset, and his office hallway is a track of paved asphalt. Okay, <laughs> never afraid to go to the go the extra mile to get ahead. The Joe Gibbs racing driver proves time and again he's one of the hardest workers when he clocks in on race day. Okay, well, that's good to know. He's a hard worker, I guess. Take that home. I'm gonna go fetch that other numbered card and pull him out too. I think it was. What was that? Thank you. 
days and all are numbered and hits are out of the uh, stack here. Now, let's, so there will be an autograph in here, presumably, uh, and it feels thick, so the question is, did we get an auto patch card? That would be pretty cool if we did, I think. Let's see, yep, it's a thick card, so I think we got an auto patch, guys. Guys and gals, I should say. Um, all right, here we go. Yep, I see an auto there. And I thought I saw an R at the end, so it's either somebody whose name ends in R, or it's one of the, like, Dale Earnhardt Jr. I don't know if there's other juniors. Hopefully it's Dale Earnhardt Jr. <laughs> Jimmy Johnson, Cal Bush. No, he I heard, I've heard of because I opened some racing cards a little while ago. And I remember he was one of the guys whose cards are always listed. Kyle, Kyle Larson. Oh, so that's interesting. That's the first one we've seen with the little rookie logo. At least I think it is. Let's go Let's go back and check because I, I can't believe there's so... F oh, look at that. I missed it. Rookie card. Did I miss any others? These are really sharp looking cards. I mean, they're very metallic and shiny and seem like pretty high end. So I appreciate that. Alright, where were we here? So yeah, we got this uh, auto, this uh, rookie card, well, William, but a lot of these drivers look super young. I don't know if it's, but I know they're also, there's like, drivers have been around forever. Jimmy Johnson, uh, Michael uh, Wall, what does that say, Wall, Wall Trip. race day. Um, well, look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That. So this is like the weird, oh, wow, fascinating. Fascinating. So what this little sticker is, which very annoyingly is over the autograph, but maybe that's how they always do it. As you can, I don't know if you can see this, but um, there's like a little, it's like a hologram, and it says Dale Earnhardt Jr., like a little logo. So Presumably his, you know, licensing operation, you know, authenticates his cards, which is kind of interesting because, you know, in most products, um, you don't get that kind of like secondary level guarantee. It's like the manufacturer, which is Panini in this case, you know, kind of guarantees all the autographs on their packed card products. But this is like a secondary level of authentication from the um, you know, the uh, signer himself, so that is pretty cool. I have to believe this is probably one of the better cards. Look at that, number 270. I have to believe, if you're a racing fan out there, you'll tell me, and I'll, I'll look this up, of course, um, after this, but yeah, this is pretty, this is pretty awesome. I mean, is there a bigger name in racing than Dale Earnhardt Jr.? I don't know. I don't know if there is. I feel like he's the Mike Trout of racing, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's not as good as his dad. I don't know. That is that is pretty cool though, guys. <laughs> when I saw that R at the end, I was like, oh, did I get did I get the big guy? The big dog. Um I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if we can find. Um I gotta say, we're, we're doing like really well on pulls that uh, come from like me opening boxes that people uh, suggest, like the um, wrestling box that I opened. We got like basically the best auto and the best non-auto you can get out of that pack or very close to it. I kinda just wanna base Dale Earnhardt. We got these cards for like specific races that he won. Um, but anyway, so yeah, we got that, that, that wrestling thing, and then, um, this box, I gotta believe, gave us one of the better hits you can get out of a racing product, so, kind of amazing, I'm super stoked. 
keep those uh, keep those suggestions coming. I, I have seen um, a number of other suggestions. Somebody suggested golf or tennis or like, you know, one of the le less common sports. Um, I have opened, I've opened actually tennis a few times. I'm a huge tennis fan. I play tennis a lot. Well, I used to before the plague. Um, man, do I miss tennis. I miss baseball. I miss tennis. I miss so many things, but I'm totally, you know, I'm an introvert and I, you know, I have a lot to do at my house with all my cards. Um, actually yesterday and today I inventoried all of my unopened stuff, um, which I'd never done before. And it, I'm glad I finally had a chance to do it. If I hadn't been trapped at home for so long, I might not have ever done it. But anyways, that's good. Um, I actually still don't have, like I inventoried basically all of my modern stuff and like, uh, my, my vintage stuff, if it's been, like, BBC E authenticated, um, but I haven't done all, like, a lot of my kind of junk wax, I call it, you know, like, stuff from, like, 89 Don Ross and 89 Fleer and kind of, you know, boxes that are not super valuable from the junk era of, like, 80, whatever, 8 through 91, um, and I'm not sure I'll ever even bother with those because they're not really worth that much. Anyways, my point is I got most of it done. So, um, yeah, so, uh, what was I saying? Um, I'm gonna just, um, sleeve up my numbered cards here. And, uh, in my autograph. Yeah, so I saw the request for, um, tennis and golf. I... You know, I, I would love to open some tennis cards. Um, I always find that fun because I pretty much know most of the better players in tennis. Um, and actually in tennis cards, I feel like you always get um, super good players. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do real quick? Hang on, I'm gonna go grab some that I opened before because I saw them when I was going through some things the other day and I thought, you know what, those are kinda cool. Um, 
Nick Curios who, um, and this is a one of one printing plate autograph, so that's pretty cool. So when this came out, uh, when was it, 2018? I think, uh, yeah, Nick Curios has done quite, quite good since this came out. And he's kind of a, like a bad boy. He's got lots of attitude problems. <laughs> and he's sort of a goofball. Um, but he's really talented. He's just very sort of unorthodox. I'm not sure who this Vladka Yurilova, I'm not sure who that is. Sebastian Groshin, number 25. He's okay. Um, Johanna Conta, I don't know who that is. Um, number two. Another Aaron Crickstein, this one's numbered. Jesse, Jesse Witten, never heard of him. Here we go. I mean, the legend, Martina Navratilova. Probably one of the top three um, women's players of all time. Up there with uh, Billie Jean King and Steffi Graf and, you know, a few other names that just are giants in the sport so pretty cool and this is the thing about tennis cards you know you get this card i mean literally one of the best women's players of all times number two to five uh, number to five and i bet this thing isn't worth like you know 30 bucks 40 bucks so i'm just gonna keep it because <laughs> um screw you screw you ebay you don't want to value my cards i'll keep them so here's another guy andy murray um I think he retired recently, um, but he was, you know, a top, like, you know, 3-4 guy. Um, always a threat to be uh, in the finals of a major, especially if it's Wimbledon. Um, so that's, he's definitely a big name. This is probably my favorite. <laughs> Anna Kornikova, who doesn't love Anna Kornikova? Uh, she is kind of um, one of the well, I don't know what to say about her. I mean, she, she was, um, you know, one of the early tennis prodigies. Um, she, you know, started, like, training um, in Florida by way of Russia um, when she was very young. And kind of uh, a lot of people were talking about, you know, her game. And, of course, she's very beautiful. And uh, I think a lot of people thought, you know, she'd be a superstar because, um, you know, if she could be really good and, um, you know, she's whatever charismatic then uh more power to her um she ultimately did not win a, a ton of like um majors i don't know if she ever won a major she might have had like one um you know but she was pretty competitive for a good number of years um and i don't know she's just always been very interesting uh i think you know kind of a celebrity sort of has been one of the first, I think, you know, to sort of be a celebrity as a tennis player. I think it's much more common now, but, you know, back in the 90s, um, I think the people who cared about tennis, or I think the average, you know, sort of person, certainly the average American, didn't really know any tennis player. Well, like Andre Agassi is a good example of somebody who really broke through. I think that, um, you know, limitation of tennis players only being known within tennis. And he was obviously, you know, he was doing ads for like Canon cameras and all sorts of stuff. So, um, you know, and John McEnroe before that, but like few and far between those kinds of players. And Anna Kornikova was kind of one of the, um, you know, first women's players who, who really broke that, um, that barrier. Um, like Steffi, Steffi Graf, I think in, in, in Germany, where she was from, I think. Um, you know, she's probably very popular, but, you know, other than that, like in the U.S., I think mostly people that knew about her or cared about her were tennis aficionados. But Anna Kornikova was kind of like, you know, very popular amongst the average person in the U.S. So, anyways, there you go. There's some tennis cards. Let's uh, get to these couple of... Uh, boxes here and uh, these baseball boxes and then we'll be done
So I've opened a few of these now, and yeah, they're pretty, um, it's, you know, this is a, a active player edition, so there's a lot of, you know, younger players, or like rookies and prospects in here, but a lot of them are kind of, you know, you never heard of them. Like, oh boy, here's an example. <laughs> uh, yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. Charlie Morton. Okay, buddy. 42 is 64. That autograph is really hard to see. So, you know, this guy, yeah, okay. Uh, 2000, you know, it's like some random common from 2017 tops. Um, 45 and 70. Uh, win loss record, yeah. So, this is worth about a dollar. Um, and, you know, that's just kind of the way it goes. I don't know. I have no more th nothing more to say. I'm sure I'll get some, like, Pittsburgh Pirates fans who will not like me trashing one of their guys or something, and that's fine. Uh, but, yeah, that card is worthless. There's, there's literally, like, nobody who wants that card. Or maybe there is. I don't know. See, that's the thing. If I can figure out how to do some giveaways, maybe there's a Pirates uh, fan out there who would value that thing as much as I would value, like, uh, I don't know, like a, a David Robertson card. You know, which, like, you really only want if you're a Yankees fan. It's funny, he's not in the Yankees, but he's kind of a pitcher that was fairly beloved when he was on the Yankees. And so, you know, for that reason, I'd want him. But nobody else, nobody's really going to collect him. So I would be excited to get, like, you know, pretty much any Yankee. But to get uh, Charlie Morton, not so excited. All right, so this is, uh, I've opened these before. You've seen them if you watch this channel regularly. Um, this is this is a hit parade product repack product. So there's an autograph card in here. Could be graded. Probably won't be. Um, st statistically speaking, I've not gotten a lot of graded cards out of here. Um, this is a uh, platinum limited edition box. So it's fairly high end. I think I think these things go for 179 bucks. So you know sometimes you get a card that's. Um, Sometimes you get a card that's worth maybe $300, but sometimes you get a card that's worth, you know, $60. Um, so let's hope we're on the uh, former of those. Okay, let's see here. Oh, it's a mini. It's an Alan, Alan Ginter mini, uh, and it's not, it's not graded. So, oh, it's somebody on the Braves, you guys. Somebody on the Braves, who can it be? Who can it be now? Is it, is that, that's my guy there. That's my guy, yeah, buddy. So that's cool. Um, unfortunately, this is a 2019, so it's not a rookie year. Um, and what I've found with Acuna stuff and Soto stuff is like basically if it's not rookie year, it's not got a ton of value. Um, but I'm sure this is worth, you know, 100 bucks, maybe a little less at the least. It might be worth more, but these are not numbered, so I don't know how rare this is. But I've had, I've had like numbered Acuna autos out of like Topps Inception, and been shocked by how little they go for. So um, I'm never gonna argue with an autograph of the hottest young player in the game today, for sure. But yeah, cool. I always wonder, like, if you send this in for grading, do they grade, like, the outer card, or do they grade the inner card? And if they grade the outer card, then why the heck does anybody care what the outer card is? <laughs> um, graded. Since it's the inner card that anybody even cares about. Fascinating questions. Fascinating. So that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool ad. Yeah, I'm excited. That's a cool one. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, Thanks so much for watching. We will catch you all next time. All right, bye now.